back to Let's Play Stacking. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're checking things off of our to-do list. Finishing off all these hijinks. To start things off, shout out to Elthwar, who says, I wasn't expecting the family to be reunited before the end of the game. So the fact that Charlie now has his entire family's support, plus quite a few of the passengers here in support of him, well, I think the Baron should understand that he hasn't trapped Charlie and his, children and his family on the platform with him, but rather now he's trapped here with Charlie. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, shout out to Justin Jones, who says, Puzzle games are the last genre that comes to mind when discussing post-game content, but here we are. And there was that other game he played, the one where he had to help uh, tell a story by moving things around in each scene. Yeah, that game had post-game content too, as I recall. Yes, that was Storyteller. I should be clear, in the original release of uh, uh, Stacking, the, the Lost Hobo King was a DLC chapter. It did not come with the game. I believe it just comes with it on the PC release. So last time I tried jumping into a bunch of waiters and it didn't work. So let's try these guys with the wrenches. Two. Three. Please, I just need one more. God damn it. I had no idea that fish could be used to crash a zeppelin. If I had known that these tanks were four, I never would have installed them. I regret installing these tanks if only I had known. I'd feel really bad about that, yeah. Make you want to donate to charity or something. I like that the car with the monkeys on it has stopped, and the monkeys are out in front of it eating bananas that have spilled all over the track. And the dogs have caught up with it and pulled the stuffed rabbit off the back and are now crowded around it victoriously. Let's see if I could maintain that guy. Jesus. Fuck. I thought there was a wrench guy over here who was very large. I must have been thinking of someone else. Well, I'll just loop around this way just to make sure. I've got to be missing something. There's got to be one... Oh, number one, I need to figure out whether the, this guy or the uh, or these guys are the stewards. Man, if this guy naps, he really naps. Days since uh, he took that nap, and he's still groggy. By the way, if you see a tiny, tiny uh, steward anywhere around, feel free to give me a timestamp or something. Just throw me a freaking bone here. Uh, shit. I headed back over here because I remember there was a bunch of these guys out in front of the stink room. No, no, that one just leads to the kitchen. The stink room. As if that's what it's, well, as if that's what it's supposed to be. Fuck! The fan service room is closed. Oh, I guess it's like the- Oh shit! I forgot there was a guard right there. Well, fuck you then. Oh, right. Taller, taller, taller. Well, I've still got these three guys, so screw you. Butts. 
If I go over here and use this thing now, will it reactivate? No. Oh, no, wait, no, no, the maintenance thing was up there. That's right. Fuck. The guide I found just tells you what the things are. It doesn't give you advice for how to get them. So, uh... If there is a trick to this, I don't know what it is. Oh, hell. Oh! No, you're the same size as me. God damn it! What? What?! I jumped in one of those other guys like I was in before. That sounded weird. Now, both of these types of guys have uh, bow ties. I guess they're both stewards. They must count together. Jesus, that would have been easier to tell if you'd uh, fucking made that clear. They do look similar, but let's be perfectly honest here. Everyone looks similar. That's all of them. Great. Which makes me feel good, because we're almost certainly not... Oh, wait, no. If that guard did come after me... Hey, score! Which might seem like a strange thing to say. Oh, no, he's still just over there. I'll go grab a person. But yeah, if they do still chase me, maybe I can still get that achievement for escaping from the guards without getting caught. I don't know if that's meant to be four different ways or what. I do remember noticing that uh, I was not getting count, uh, more uh, number on that. What the fuck am I trying to say? I was not counting towards that when I was uh, jumping into people as the guard was running at me on that level. Uh, not you. does that drop? I'm pretty sure it's in this room. Fuck. All right. No, no, that's right. It's actually next to the ambassadors. I'm not even sure if that guy actually counts as a special person. Well, I guess not. I can't jump into him at all. Now that I think about it. Yeah. No blue glow. You betcha. And over here to get things finished. We're running again! Uh, no, wait, no, that's not right. Uh, this one, this one. That's right, this guy's back here. The triple-decker tank engine. I was trying to think that would be about this level, but okay. I like that it's just the, the bad music here. The one they normally play as you're getting chased. Okay, I've got Soup for the Sick, Clownaclism, Belly Bumper, and two more examples of the Artful Dodger, the one I mentioned earlier. Let me see here. Well, Soup for the Sick should actually be fairly simple. Oop, six out of ten hijinks. As I said, this is a side project and a download-only game in 2011, and I think it would be interesting to see what Double Fine could do putting, like, their full resources behind a, uh, a sequel. I mean, I don't know if it would be, like, the continuing adventures of Charlie Blackmore, but, uh... 
hey, fuck it, what's the most cliche thing you could do? You could make it uh, the adventures of CJ, Charlie Jr., like 20 years after this. And Charlie's grown big enough that he's a size one person. <laughs> Where are those soup kids? I haven't seen a single one yet. That's weird. Uh, no, that's him with a cold bucket. There's a soup kid. So let me see here. I just gotta wait for this guy to do his thing. He did, and have some soup. Serve soup to any infected doll. That's funny, it didn't give me anything made of gold. Wait. There wasn't... Yeah, serve soup to any infected doll. There wasn't a... a hijink here for the sneezing guy. Which means that the fact that the cold compresses on his head are now gold means that that is what I just did, even though I wasn't playing as that guy. That's really funny. Yeah, all I had to do was wait for him to sneeze on someone and then hit them with the soup. Like that. Except with better aim. Try that one more time. Hello, whale. Thank you for saving my life earlier. What's next? Clownaclism. I can't imagine that ending well. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't see the, uh, the thing there. I feel like that would have happened by accident as I was discovering the, uh, the clown. Uh, no, I came in this way. Just gotta keep going, because the clown is on the other fucking side of the building. The building? The, uh, train. Hugging guy. Hello. Maybe you serve soup to someone who has soup on his head. They do not appreciate it any more than anyone else does. Oh, now I remember. As I uh, pointed out earlier, the door will be locked because uh, I've loaded into the level. Let's go get this guy down there. It was past the piano bar, wasn't it? It was like one of the last rooms. Excuse me. It's weird. Tickle Tiberius the Terrible, but he di really didn't make it clear that the reason he hated the feathers was because of the tickling. Like, I liked that uh, thought about uh, ladies jamming feathers in dudes' ears to say they were cowards. absurdly bright the guy with the uh, the flare in his head is. He's washing out the light. Oh, that's really small. Oh, I have a comment about that specifically, actually. That sign just there. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, Kids Workshop reminds me of a joke I made during your Nobody Saves the World Let's Play that I will modify for this series. Kids Workshop? Is it a workshop made out of kids? A workshop that produces kids? Or is it simply a place that employs slave labor in the form of children? <laughs> oh dear. How is it that the one we ended up with is the worst option? <laughs> Why are they still cleaning the fucking toilets? 
What are you looking at, kid? Aren't you supposed to be working? If you see that little brat Charlie, you better tell me. But he would have different lines, even for a different person. Let's trample the thunder buckets. Let's lay waste to these latrines. To these, the latrines. Let's brush these, or let's trash these toilets. Let's crack these commodes. Let's whack these water closets. Let's demolish these dumpers. Uh, I think that's all of them. Nope, let's smash these sitters. Not bad. I hope I didn't pass the box. That would be really embarrassing. Okay, yes. Oh, no, good. The clown is out. I don't have to pester that guy again. I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, he's too big for me to hammer down. In that case, I'll just spill uh, soup directly onto your crotch. Brisk and refreshing! For the record, that is what I have to do. That would have counted if it was me. I think the clown might be the biggest character aside from the Baron himself. Okay, peck the clown. What? Wait. Oh, the color gets all different. And everything gets a greenish overtone, like a, a, a filter that makes everything look sickly. I didn't even notice that before. It also closes off the very edges of the screen with uh, black marks. What do you call that? Uh, a vignette effect. All right, here's some small ones. Clowniclism. Use the clown scream on dolls. They appear to have pissed themselves. Oh dear. Already got that one. There's a large, suspiciously fake-looking flower on my shirt that is now gold. Random memory, I uh, really, really enjoyed the game uh, Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction back in the Xbox days. And one of the things I really liked about it was that it gave you a button that did nothing except make Hulk like rear back and roar. Really played well with the game's theming. Experience the freedom of completely losing control. Anything else? Belly Bumper and the Artful Dodger. Alright, let's go back and find that guard. Uh, up the stairs. Yeah, there was a couple of those. Actually, I'm gonna bring Peck over there. Oh, wait, no, 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 I can't, I can't. The only path back leads through that door in the workshop that's only uh, size 2 or smaller. Oh, there's a thought. That worked. Oh, I'm running. I'm running! Come get some! He got away! Oh, I didn't even make it through the door. I guess because I was a... Uh, you seen a tiny kid with black hair around here? Oh, I like that. The, uh, the tailor is endlessly measuring this guy. Who seems to really appreciate it. Listen, kid, I'm sorry for ordering you around before. You have to understand, I was being monitored. The Baron is a network of carrier pigeons, church mice, and hedgehogs that monitor the employees. That's one word, hedgehog, but I'll allow it. They have been trained to collect information and report back to him. That's kind of crazy. Wait, that's why you had a pigeon car? It wasn't for sending messages or anything? It was to spy on your workers? It's fucked up, man. It's uh, one of the guys in the clown masks. As opposed to the actual clown who's wearing makeup. Wait for it. Watch a fucking move, kid. 
Come here, Charlie! How does that run keep disappearing? Yeah, that didn't count. Oh no, whatever will I do? No, no. Yeah, see, jumping into the th into the person right in front of him doesn't count anymore. Since the Baron put, us, put us on commission, it is important that I am the one to capture that tiny kid. You think they take their masks off? I don't know what's up with the masks. Seriously, it doesn't look like the Baron or anything. I still don't understand why the Baron kept getting younger as they got rid of layers. Was he actually a child this entire time, just being awful to other children? I've just noticed that the windows in this uh, toilet room are boarded up, which makes me wonder if uh, that was to prevent people from seeing the conditions they have these kids working in. Case in point, black lung cough. Excuse me, sirs. Might as well find one of those bullies, because of course they're for Belly Bumper. I know there was one really early on, but he didn't seem to still be there when I was on my way in. I'll just find somebody. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, I guess that you just came straight out of the piano bar, didn't you? These kids are the money uh, chests. Well, you should know better, buddy. You're the pollution activist, or industrialist, or enthusiast. Bullies in here, which makes sense. Kids with shitty attitudes would not last long uh, serving the rich. Is that the option? I'm pretty sure that didn't work at least once. Hello! I'm running! I'm running! Come here, Charlie! How does that run keep disappearing? The gold flash was around him. Artful Dodger. Let's jump in this kid and go take a closer look at that guy. In fact, I'll be an adult so he won't be shitty to me. God damn it. It's not made of gold. He's just got a, a regular fucking cardboard kick me sign on his butt. I love that. <laughs> kick me. Does anybody kick? No, no, I guess there's not a secret achievement for that. Fair. Uh, but since I only have the one left, we're at 99% completion, I'm just gonna keep going and looking for, uh, one of those bullies. Ah, there's one. Don't know what the fuck you're doing in the corner of this room. Ah, there's some children. Belly bumper. Belly bump child dolls. Let's knock them the fuck on the ground. Rude. 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 And the upside down pot on top of his head is now gold. Guess they wore it to be like a helmet and think that they were uh, tougher than the other kids. Oh, also the first place we saw them was a kitchen. That is true. What if he's on someone bigger than you? Well, she reeled back when she was pissed at me, but you know nothing really happened. Same size as me, same effect. Ha! I knocked down one of their stewards with the clown masks because they're only size two in this level. You know what this kid needs? Other than therapy. This kid needs a hug. There you go. Okay! 100% completion. So, uh...
guard around here. I'm Burning Dog Face. And with that done, I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Stacking when we uh, check out... Well... When we check out the DLC chapter and uh, take a look at the Lost Hobo King. Until then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later.